Welcome to Athens, Georgia, Sanford Stadium, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where more than 90,000 have already started to bark loudly. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day, as we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, taking on the winners of 11 straight, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. taking a bite out of another first down. You don't usually find Georgia teams that complicate things. He's loose down the left side. Touchdown, Dogs! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. That touchdown. On coming. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Great execution on offense. Looking for room. It's ETN. He got a bunch of look close to getting a lot red zone at the 14. And the Bulldogs have moved it inside the 20. They're trying to get to it. He caught it. And he will score. Touchdown, Georgia! They'll throw it on first down. He lets it fly. Gets it inside the 15. Touchdown, Dogs! And once he got... Wide out in motion. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They stop him at the 42, but they're on a wall with a pickup of 15 and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the single back. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Out of the gun, the inside give. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. A third down try for the offense. From the gun, wants to pass. That's caught. It's got just outside the red zone. If they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Makes the grab. It's felt. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the pummeling has started. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Wide open downfield. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Quick pass on the jet motion. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Here comes the offense on second down. The play action fake. And his throw is incomplete. Well, no surprise there on defense, right? You know the QB is going to be trying to target this guy. Nice job in coverage forcing that incompletion. Fast motion from the offense. On third down, going up top. 
He'll pull it down. Nice move to stay on his feet. And this sophomore quarterback learning when to use his legs to move the chains. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. He's got it on the right. Gets enough for the first down, but not sure they'll get another playoff here in the third quarter. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And, heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up. He got it. Touchdown, Georgia. And the route is on. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles, and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Keep it on the ground. Finds that crease, and he's got four after the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. He's had a day 103 yards on the ground and just another day at the office for the national leader in rushing. Makes a man miss. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. And how good does that feel, right? You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. The defense knows you're going to try to run the ball to ice the game, and you rip off an eight-yard run. They know it's coming, and they still can't stop. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Now on second down. They'll leave it with him. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Touchdown, dogs! And the stomping has commenced. Now they have extended this lead, guys. Starting to put the hammer, but sometimes... Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the beatdown... To the ground with the back. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the ball. The offense will put in the play from the 47 on first and 10. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. They make the tackle, but he's got enough to give Georgia a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll give it to the back. Got the first down. Looking for more. And he left the first defender grabbing at air before he was finally tackled. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. Nice move to keep moving. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Got three on first down at second and seven. On the run, it's Etienne. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stops. Big 
reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown. The wins keep piling up, and the stakes get higher along with it as this squad remains unbeaten on the season. Stakes get higher. The pressure starts to mount. Those rivalry games come up late in the season a lot.